Well, good day, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. And today I've got something a little bit different for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a deep dive and a review of the new Brook Lady 18-year-old, Redefined, as it's called. Um, this was released a couple of days ago alongside um, a 30-year-old Brook Lady. Um, I decided to get this because I'm a big, big fan of Brook Lady. I do enjoy um, most of their offerings, especially those that are um, matured in bourbon casks. Um, so uh, this is a bit unusual for me. I would don't normally have, or I don't normally review a bottle I haven't opened yet. But I thought I would talk first of all just a little bit about the the dram, um, specifically the packaging. I have got some notes that I will consult because there is quite a bit of information here. So as you can see here, um, the redefined part of the name is essentially this this outer shell here, which is basically encompasses the whole bottle now. They're obviously using this um, as opposed to a tin. And um, my understanding is that this is made from, yes, so it's a, so it's 100% recycled paper. Obviously, Brooklady, um very much um, at the forefront of sustainability and that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, and as you can see, I, th I actually quite like the packaging, to be frank. Um, I think it looks smart, I think it looks classy and um, it's better for the environment, I guess, um, as opposed to their tins that they used to use. Um, so as I say, this is the outer shell, so I will just well, basically take it off and reveal the bottle. Um, apologies, this might take a bit of time, but I thought it was best just to do this because I want to give you my impressions. So first impressions are great. I really like, I really like the, the packaging on this. Um, so let's just take it apart, shall we? There we go. It's uh, not nice to ruin all the lovely paper. It really looks beautiful. Um, right. There's the bottle. We'll just put this to the side. So that's what the bottle looks like without the um, without any of the packaging. Uh, so I'll just uh, take the plastic off, off top off of the top of it, so I can open up the the bottle. And the idea is I'll pour a dram, and before I taste anything, I will give you all the information that you need to know about this particular bottle. Um, If I can actually get it open. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Whoops. <laughs> that shot out. Got a little bit of my shirt. Right, this is poor dram. I was a bit too keen there. Right, there we go. Right, so that's the dram poured. And we'll just let that rest for just a wee bit. Okay, so there's the bottle right there. Right, so let's just talk a little bit about this bottle, shall we? So I've got my notes, as I said. I'm, my memory is terrible, folks. So um, I'm not very good with uh, remembering uh, things. So I, th I thought it was best just to uh, give or write down a few notes about this particular bottle. Um, so first of all, the specific harvest and barley varieties or varietals are fully traceable, as usual. Um, barley that's used is uh, from the Scottish mainland, Isla and Organic. Bottle was distilled in 2004 um, using primarily ex-bourbon casks. And um, my understanding is that they vatted, um, they vatted the juice um, in sorterness or sauternes and port casks. Uh, for nine months uh, uh, before bottling it. Okay, so there's a little bit of um, maturation in, in wine casks, essentially. Okay, which does make me a little bit nervous, I'll be honest. Generally, I prefer Brooklady um, ex bourbon cask, generally. Um, and I've had a few Brooklady wine casks before that I've not been overly impressed with. Uh, but ha having said that, that was full maturation in wine casks. Um, this one specific one I had was a 17 year old a red wine cast that I wasn't really a fan of. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, 
well, I would like to see the, um, the wine casks just add a little bit of more character to the dram, but not overtake the spirit. Okay. As I said, uh, packaging that I've thrown away <laughs> is 100% recycled paper, and the bottle is made of 60% recycled glass. Um, lastly, um, there is a five-digit code. I think that um, the, um, the, the, the regular um, laddie, the classic laddie, has also got that, where you can look up the specific recipe for um, the bottle that you've received. Or the, and uh, I haven't done that yet, obviously, because I've just opened it up. Um, but yeah, that's probably about all the information I've got. Okay. So whilst this is resting a wee bit, um, I thought I would talk about price. Okay. So the Brooklady 18 year old um, retails, I believe, anywhere between 145 to 150 quid, which uh, sounds expensive for an 18 year old. Um, I don't think it's overly pricey, um, but there are other, obviously other 18 year olds that you could get um, for less. Um, and yeah, so price wise, it's a bit of a difficult one. Um, I got 10% off this as well, so it was far less than 150 quid for me. Well, not far less, but it was less. So, yeah, price-wise, I think we'll probably need to taste it first and see if, it's, if it is um, worth that sort of money. Um, bottle at 50% ABV, just like the Classic Laddie and also their other releases. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the 30-year-old that was released. I know that I'm reviewing the 18-year-old, but I thought I would talk about that as well. That retails, um, from what I see, uh, 1450 to 1500 pounds, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. Um, just being honest, I mean, I know that it takes, it takes a lot of money and a lot of investment to be able to produce whiskey, but for a 30-year-old Brook Lady, 1500 quid is just ridiculous. I don't know who that is aimed for, because at the end of the day, you can get independent bottlings of Brookladdy 30 year olds. I've seen them for about 400, 450 quid. So I don't know, 1500 is just, that to me just just feels like it's for the collectors and um, just way overpriced. Okay, but I'm not gonna rant any more about um, the 30 year old. Um, so let's just get back onto the 18 year old. Okay, right. <laughs> So apologies about my rambling there. Um, let's just get onto the dram and see what we get. Okay, so this is in the cop in a copita. Um, no water added. I am planning on adding a little bit of water to this just to see if the profile changes at all. Um, but let's have a first nosing of the of this eighteen year old and see what we get. Okay, so um, definitely fruit, so peach, I'm thinking peaches, it's quite sweet. Vanilla custard. Definitely a, fl a floral type nature to it as well. Uh, it's definitely one of the notes that I always find very difficult to um, to, to sort of nail or or, to score or, or define, um, but definitely a floral nature to this. There's a bit of oak. I'm definitely picking up some coconut as well. Um, notes of honey as well. Nice barley notes too. Okay, so um, the only thing that's missing for me so far is the typical farm, farmy kind of funky nose that I get from Brooklady. Um, I got it on um, a single cask, a 2008 uh, distillate. It was a 12 year old um, released by Cask Whisperer and got lots of farminess and funk on the nose. Not really picking up on this at the moment. However, maybe time in the glass or maybe just a bit of water might change that. Apricots, definitely a dried fruit type character as well. A 
there's a little bit of mineral character there too. So um, just a, just minerals, um, almost like pebbles, um, sort of almost shoreline pebbles, but not quite. It's it's a little bit restrained, but it's there slightly. But yeah, just very, very fruity, um, very, very floral, definitely. Quite delicate, actually. It just certainly doesn't whack you across the face like a Brooklady can do. Um, as I say, only 50% ABV. Yeah. There's some citrus there too, some oranges. Definitely. But that peach and vanilla custard lead the way with definitely that floral edge that I was talking about earlier. Definitely um, lead the way in my opinion. So overall, um, certainly not um, a typical, typical Brook Lady that I've had in the past, but really, really nice nose, beautiful nose. All right, let's just get straight into the palette then and see what we get on the palette. Some lovely malted barley in the finish. Right, so initial arrival on the palate, oily texture, nice viscosity, good viscosity, quite thick, floral, fruity, peaches, orange, citrus, lead the way. Honey, definitely lots of honey on this as well. Malted barley really comes through and shines, in my opinion, as well. Definitely that um, influence from the um, from the ex-bourbon casks, definitely. A little bit of whininess as well, though. Definitely come into it. A little bit earthy as well. Um, herbal, definitely a slight herbal edge on the finish. On the finish, you're getting... Um, definitely some of the oak there's but it's mellow it's not overly done in my opinion those barley notes are lovely a um, little bit of mineral character coming out but not too much i personally prefer a bit more minerality in my in my in my brook laddie i definitely prefer more minerals that sort of character um almost mm, almost like tree bark is that sort of vegetal floral tree bark kind of like you're sucking on a piece of bark and from a tree that sort of feel on the end now there's a bit of um a bit of not sourness but a bit of sharpness almost um almost like red fruits but i'm thinking more on the lines of almost like a raspberry type sharpness as well on the palate towards the end finish is reasonably long actually notes of honey coming out now more barley but definitely that herbal edge as well. Okay, so I added a bit of um, a few drops of water there uh, to the dram. Um, so let's see if that changes the profile at all. Right. Okay, those few drops of water have definitely emphasized a bit more vanilla, in my opinion. More coconut coming out, toasty oak, but still delightfully floral and fruity. Definitely the peaches, 
Um, maybe even some tropical fruits as well, that sort of vibe. Yep, that mineral character is wanting to come out a wee bit, but it is a bit restrained. But I still get it. Yep. That herbal edge as well is coming out a bit more. Honey. Porridge. Scottish oats. Definitely. A little bit of earthiness starting to come out now for those few drops of water, which I, again, is another characteristic, in my opinion, of Brook Laddie. I always get earthy notes on, on uh, Brook Laddie, especially in bourbon cars. Yeah, that porridge note is divine, actually. I really like that. Almost like porridge with golden syrup running through it. Yeah. So the nose, to me, is perhaps opened up slightly with a bit of water. All right, let's just try it now at, uh, um, with those few drops of water and see what we get now. I think the finish is definitely better with a few drops of water. Um, there comes the mineral character coming out just a bit more on the finish. And loads of vanilla. So again, initial arrival, good viscosity again, nice and oily. A bit of toasted oak on there, a bit of oakiness on the end there as well. But again, Vanilla leading the way with uh, peaches, apricots, dried fruits, floral nature. And then sort of mid-palate, get a little bit of citrus. Definitely some citrus. That sharpness as well that I was talking about. Almost like berries. Um, and then more vanilla custard in the finish. Along with a bit of oak and coconut. And just now that, that mineral edge is coming, up, coming into play just a wee bit. But again, as I said, it's quite restrained, um, quite delicate. Um, um, yeah, more of that herbalness, that sort of barkiness I was talking about, that tree bark element, again in the finish. More honey coming out as well, so it's quite sweet. But it does draw the line. Um, it's not overly sweet. There's some savory element there too. Um, and that's just really, really enjoyable, guys. Um, so what do I think of this? Um, I think it's quite delicate. <laughs> um, I was expecting maybe a bit more boldness. And mind, this is only the first few, you know, it's only the neck pour, more just, you know, it's it's obviously needs a bit more time in the bottle, in my opinion. But that's, um, that's just beautiful. That delicate floral nature with the peaches and apricot and dried fruits is lovely. Um, and yeah, I think the vanilla custard is also enjoyable as well. The only thing for me personally, and this is just my personal preference, I would like that mineral, mineral character to come out just a wee bit more. And I can do miss the farmy funky notes on the nose. Um, just being honest, guys. And that's what I always look for when I when I when I sniff a, a Brook Laddie, that sort of pungent farminess, and it's not on this one. So, um, if you're looking for something that's a bit of a bruiser or something that's going to whack you across the face with loads of funk and, and and that sort of influence, this is not the release for you, in my opinion. This is a lot more delicate, one could say refined, perhaps. Um, but I think that this bottle, bottle will just get better and better as time goes on. So if you get it and you're a little bit disappointed initially, I would just give it a bit more time in the bottle. As it stands, this is very impressive. Do I think it is um, worth its price? Uh, it's a difficult one, guys. Um, 
initially I'd probably say not, but having said that, um, if you look at independent Brook Lady, 18 years old, um, you're probably looking at around this price, I guess, maybe a bit more. Certainly the, um, the Jim McEwen Signature Collection Series um, it was pretty expensive as well, um, the independent bottlers, okay, cost, strength, etc. But I think as a, as a, as a I mean, I'm assuming this is probably a core range release. As a core range, if this is a core range release, I think it is really, really enjoyable. And I think that I'll be, I would spend a lot of time with this, getting, just getting to know the bottle, getting to know the juice, and um, enjoying it immensely. Yeah. It's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I was definitely expecting maybe just a bit more boldness, but I think it's lovely that we've got something that's got... Um, it's got that sort of refined edge and um, interesting contrast. I would love to try this alongside other bottles of Brook Laddie just to see what the differences are. Anyway, guys, this has been quite long, so I think I'm going to stop here. So overall thoughts, I think this is excellent. I do think it needs a bit more time, but I love the delicate nature, the floral nature and the, um, the fruitiness, quite delicate fruits, tropical almost. Um, I just, as I said already, I just miss the funk and I miss... Um, those mineral notes are shining a little bit more, coming up a bit more strong in, in the dram. Um, but that's, um, yeah, it's still very enjoyable, guys. And um, I would say definitely worth a bottle if, if you want to get it. Okay. Okay, guys. So anyway, guys, that's my deep dive and review of Brook Laddie's 18-year-old, the new one, the redesign. And I hope you've enjoyed the review. And if you enjoy the, my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's always appreciated. Um, but as usual, guys, um, there's not much else to say, except have a fantastic day. And I'll see all of you again soon. Take care. Cheers.